What's up my YouTube family? Thank you very much for joining me today. This is your AP Tech host and today as you can see from the title um, we'll be unveiling the new um, iPhone 12 um, leaks. So the, the leaks are very now becoming very unso real as the Apple has already announced on the 13th they're going to have an event that we think the Apple iPhone will be released. So now what are the new leaks that what we think are becoming so real so now the leaks are not so much as we thought it would be with four cameras potentially um, what I think on what the the rumors now are indicating they're going to be pretty much the same as iPhone 11 Pro so now what are the things that we should be expecting is pretty much the same as previously without having um, so much big changes so Apple are actually known for these because they don't want to make the big leap as the new inventors because they want to move certain things gradually so that way they could always have their customers going back to them so now the new iphone is going basically going to be the, the event itself the apple would be on the 13th if you're in uk it will be at 16 pm so if you are in america that will be about 10 am so, so depending on which country you're tuning in and um, so you can literally go to apple store and sorry not apple store you can go to apple website and you can put yourself a calendar reminder and it will automatically remind you at your um, location, date and time. So what are the, th the the features that this basically is going to happen? So there's going to be four iPhones, what we think. Um, so it's going to be a, a physical design they're going to present. They're going to present basically how it's going to look like physically, which I think is going to be pretty much the same as iPhone 11. It's going to be um, 5.4 inch. 6.7 inch and 6.1 inch so now it's going to have a triple lens cameras so again triple lens cameras are not nothing new it's pretty much the same as iphone 11 pro so there might be certain or subtle changes things like full oled led screen so now that's something new to iphone they don't have full at the moment but these are the rumors then indicating it's going to be full oled screen uh, and it's going to be a 5G compatibility. So now the new iPhone, um, the current iPhone, is not compatible with 5G. So it's going to be compatible with 5G, all of their lineups. It's going to have basically A14 chip. The current iPhone has A13 chip. So it's going to have A14, So which means it's going to be a faster processing. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be pretty much the same colors as we currently have seen but it's going to have one new extra color as you can see from my thumbnail which is the blue color which i think is going to be something where people are going to be interested in going to that new color we've seen silver we've seen um, dark space gray we've seen um, gold so we've seen black uh, and the rose gold um, from the old um, predecessor so what's going to include Unfortunately, it's not going to include any AirPods where a lot of the rumors they did say that it's going to include AirPods. Pods because think about it again, AirPods, they do cost quite a lot. Why would they keep the same price tag and also include AirPods? So it doesn't make sense as a financial um, business strategy. So they're not going to include AirPods. And the starting price, depending on where you are, um, is going to be from $699. So that's something to consider because $699 is not much uh, compared to what we are currently paying, $1,500, so on. So that's a lot cheaper, but that's the base model. So depending on what model you're going for, if you're going for 12 Pro or if you're going for just the 12 standard base model. So that depends on you. So now there are so many rumors as the iPhones are going to be unveiled this Tuesday coming the 13th October 2020. So I would suggest you to tune in to see what is going to be the real. There might be some new um, lineup for, uh, they're going to introduce a Apple Watch, they might introduce a, a new MacBook Pro 2014, but that depends on exactly what they're thinking. Definitely um, there will be a new software released at the same period on the 13th. So for the current iPhone 11 owners, they will be able to upgrade themselves to the new software so that way they can see. But as soon as those people upgrade, what's going to happen is that their phone will automatically see some sort of a seamless new design 
but they're going to experience the battery shortage and also a bit of lag. Why is this? Because the new software, they're not compatible to A13 because they're made for A14 chip, which is a lot faster. So whoever is considering changing the software, so think of these sort of um, potential things that are going to hold you back as a drawback. But the new software is going to include a lot of features like 3D touches, you're going to see a lot of new features, which is a welcoming feature. So depending on which country you are, um, so these um, phones, when they do come up, they won't be available straight away in the market. They will take time. So I would suggest you, if you want to order one, first to watch the event itself. And if it's for you and you've been waiting for this um, time, then you should order immediately. So that way it's available for you uh, as soon as it comes out. So, or you could be one of those people who have lined up for, I don't know how many hours, 12 hours before the release day. So that way you are one of the first people that holds the phone itself. So in my opinion, the iPhone 12 will be a game changer for those who want to upgrade from an older generation rather than the iPhone 11. If you're upgrading from iPhone 11, then it won't be so much big change other than having a fast software or a better camera. But it won't be a massive game changer. But if you're jumping from iPhone 10, then it will be definitely a game changer for you guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, so this was a quick video for you to just to see what are the subtle changes that potentially it might come out. So thank you very much and have a lovely day.